podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy EC on. I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my day will walk on, but I want y'all to, first of all, stop what you're doing. Like, subscribe, share, follow us on all social media platforms YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, you name it, we're on it. But most importantly, go to our Patreon channel. Every platform, we're Boss Talk Podcast 101. YouTube, sign up for memberships. Y'all will not regret it, okay? That's where you're going to find our full-length interviews after a while, both on Patreon and on YouTube, membership only. Wow, you know, I don't want to tell this young lady's age. She's been around me for a very long time, i just put it like that. She's, a, she's young, uh, what are you talking, you make it sound like she uh, old. I'm not going to argue with you about it either. <laughs> All I'm going to say is... She been here with me for a long time. This is my family. Since she uh, was a baby. Al Janae, uh is a, uh, yeah, she family, but she in the building, y'all. She got a podcast, a new podcast. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, what is it called again, babe? It's called Social Intercourse. Social Intercourse. Don't oh, that yeah. sound like you having so sex? Sounds so sexual. Oh, yeah. Sounds like something going down. And she be sitting in the bed. Niggas, don't be no pervert, <laughs> niggas. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Don't she be no cute and all. Don't be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you come up with the name? Was you just thinking one night you was exactly. into the mood and you was like, man, let me go on. This is man. what I need to do. You're <laughs> man, no, seriously. Um, it all came about because we're going to keep it a stack here, right? Yeah. We're going to keep it a stack here. Uh-huh. Okay. So. I was a, a celebrity assistant here in Dallas. Okay. And basically, I told this celebrity that I had ideas i'm creative and i want to do something and you know i do hostings at events open mics and i like to interview the artists so i was like i want to do more interviews but something different because when you think of interviews you think of just like this like everybody's this. sitting at a table with a mic or a chair or a chair whatever the case is with with a little thing you mm-hmm. know whatever so i was like i wanted to be something different and i wanted to represent me and who i am i'm sensual i'm sexy without trying to be i have an ambiance and that's exactly what the setting of the show is and um basically i dug deep i dug so deep in my soul to come up with it um social intercourse is exactly how it sounds we're getting social and it's intimate. It's more deeper. It's deeper than the surface. I want to know about your astrology, you know, your moon sign, your sun sign. We're going to get deep into that. Um, Because you believe in all of that. Absolutely. Big Virgo, big Virgo energy over here, Mm -hmm. period. And um, I have a segment on there to where I have the person that I'm interviewing show me two to three pictures that they have posted on Instagram. And it was like a fire ass picture. Got a whole bunch of likes and comments and, but they were actually going through something in that photo and they still decided to post it. So I want them to elaborate on what it was that they were going through and what they learned from it and things of that nature. Oh, you're talking about the person that you're interviewing. This yes. Is what, okay. Yes. You know, the people mm. with, that has a lot of right. following. They have right. a lot of influence. And, right. you know, I feel like a lot of us, we, are go, we go through stuff. And when it comes to social media, we still post things when we're really probably dying inside or healing or going through a heartbreak or anything mm-hmm. of that nature. So I want to talk about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Love, heartbreak, you know, how you got started with your artistry and the things that you're doing. So, yeah, that's. So that's you said you mentioned out. it to the person, the celebrity that you, um, Oof, that celebrity that you were working for, or working with. Mm-hmm. So when you did that, what did they do? Did they, you know, promote you? Did they? So they didn't do a damn thing, but hype me up. <laughs> but hype me up about it. Um, I can say that they definitely gave me um, when I came to them with my ideas, and I told them what I wanted to do, and did it. he like think bigger. Think bigger than that. Go mm-hmm. deeper. Go deeper okay. than that. So he pushed me to a limit that I didn't even know I could reach. Okay. But um, he was supposed to have the production and the celebrities that I would be interviewing, but it never came about. It, you know, it just didn't work out. But, you know, let me say this. <laughs> I was just about to say something. How God works. Yeah. Talk about See, it. He going to take the words out of my mouth. You just got to think about it. Look where you're at right now. Now, the people that you automatically, when you first came up and your first time even working or doing anything you end up with me and 
you know, talk about I it. get it. You know, God be like, you know what? I'm going to play a game with you. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm going to let mm-hmm. you go see this and see that, mm-hmm. you know. But what you looking for is right in your right face. Right in front of you. Of course. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, that was the whole game for me when I called you. You know, it's easy to call you because I seen you grow up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I'm uh, always answer. Everybody. Yeah, <laughs> you, uh, even the guys that used to come here. Uh, you seen Emmanuel and them been yeah. on this show? Yeah. Uh, who else? Taylor. Taylor been on here. Like, everybody, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Everybody come back through, they be like, man, I love, y'all been together all these years. We was kids, you know. And That's just, one of the great things I like, I love about yeah. life is everything does come back full Come back circle. full circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just like, at the end of the day, to go through what you went through is a good thing because it just makes you stronger and you get to see different avenues. I think I asked you last night when we was talking like, you know, people be fronting. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? People act like they this or that. Mm-hmm. One thing I try to do is be real. That's what this show is all about. Boss mm-hmm. Talk 101 is a show where you can come and have a real conversation with real people who really just really just talking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and it ain't no fronting. Yeah. Never have been. Yeah. Like what you see is what you get. And, and people I think, think that's that everybody the most who comes thing. on our show is all celebrities and everything, but we interview every everybody because everybody, everybody yeah. has a story. I Absolutely. pulled two dudes out the damn parking lot. <laughs> Old yeah, men. Did. Old he men. Did. And I both of them had twenty five years. One had been in prison for twenty five years. The other one had been in prison for twenty years. They both were friends. They both cried right sitting right here. Aww. They both have been through a lot. Yeah. So a lot of times, still trying to you know, you can't, mm-hmm. you don't know nothing about me. I'm throwed. I mm-hmm. do whatever. So mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you might see uh, me talking to Ice-T one day, or you might see me talking to Silk, or you may see me talking to Rain, or, or somebody you know, that Derez you don't know. Deshaun. Right, yeah. Or then you might turn around and see me talking to Archivist Armstrong. Or, but then you'll see me talking to a p- person who just sitting here and yeah. they told some stories about cutting people's throats and all kind of stuff right here yeah. mm-hmm. and then you also have preachers that come on here so everybody come on here all walks of life we don't we don't exclude nobody right you know whosoever will let them come you know what I'm saying but we're right. very selective yeah you have to be oh that's oh that's that's well, me all day you gotta be day. careful who you yeah. who you you know it's say be you gotta be very picky on who you mm-hmm. bring bring on mm-hmm. bring on it's gotta be an energy Yep. You know what I mean? It's got to yeah. be something to where you feel like it's something you want to do. That God has to move us to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, so when you started this show, what? But I don't want to say something before you okay, go to that because um, I always say turn everything that you think or perceive to be a negative into a positive because and I do, when yeah. you said that, you know, he he told you to reach higher. Mm-hmm. And yes, he promised a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. but. Even just even if you just did that, because somebody could have easily he could have shot you down. He could be like, "What are you talking about? Yeah. I don't like that." This, mm-hmm. this, this. He could have shot you down, but he made you reach higher. Yes, yes. That might have been his only purpose. Only purpose. But he might not know that, and you might not have known that. You understand what I mean? Absolutely. So people dwell so much on negativity and not really look at the positive things that came out of that. Yeah. So take that and run with it. Absolutely. I did. I did. I definitely did. So thank you for that. So what do you what do you plan to do on this channel? Because like I said, I'm going to put it on Boss Talk 101 prime time. Y'all going to be able to go and see <laughs> Al Janae's show on there with other shows that we're putting on there. Mm-hmm. Like uh, on, the come on the come up. OTCU is in the building today. <laughs> uh, also, we got Polka, Polka's. Uh, what is it called? Uh, her, Poker speaks. Poker speaks. She's a uh, she's a motivational speaker. She mm-hmm. has a book, and uh, we're putting her episodes on. So there. let me ask you a question. And we're putting Love Always Wins. Yes, on there that's my well. show. Yes, so, I've heard know, about right? that with the couples and yeah. the. Yeah, yeah. I want to go on there. Yes, <laughs> you, on there. Yeah, um, it's, it's just talking about relationships. Relationships. Yeah, relationships. So it's not only people who are in a relationship, but it's um, female or men who are striving, who do want to be in a relationship, or who have been in many. Um, devastating relationships and mm. don't know why mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know we trying to you know and nobody don't want to go to counseling nobody want to do all of that but sometimes it takes just talking to somebody and they're bringing up the right question and they start to look back on their life i'm like oh yeah okay yeah you know get, what i mean it's not yeah. even just me telling them what to do sometimes somebody can spark something in your mind and you're like yes, oh yes, okay you see what clicks, i mean yeah it clicks absolutely. so that's really what it's all wow, about you know on the come up and you thank you for stepping in today and on the come up i, I like that because <laughs> i have uh britney loso on there shout out 
uh, last week, the mm-hmm. last two times, and then you stepped in today. We're just trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's how we just started it. Thank so, you for having me, man. man it's like fun. so many people, you know, that come in and out of here. I want to give other people opportunities to speak to these people. Next week, we got uh, Dunk Master and different people that that these are great looks, man. Mm-hmm. Great looks. They flying in. They coming in. <clears throat> it's going down. But what I wanted to <laughs> ask you is, are we opening up prime time to like, if I wanted to say to our viewers. If you have a show that you would like to be on our network, which is Primetime 101, um, they could email us their, you know, ideas and yeah. all of that. Do it's we want to open it it's, up it's, to that? It's not really going to open up to that because I'm so anal when it comes down to the production and how it sounds. I'm kind of holding that to make sure because I know already what I want to see on that channel. Mm-hmm. So it has it has to be on a certain caliber in order for us to even broadcast it because we want to give our people something right. that that's nice and dope. And but I don't want to over over you know extend myself when it come down to dealing with different people who are just trying to start something they've never done. Mm. You know, so I have to be able to deal with that person. <clears throat> no, but we would have rules and regulations. It's like it has yeah, to have this. That sound like a job, but you got okay. going. I'm trying right. to have okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> just like checking. I'm just job. checking. I think that's a good idea, though, Stephanie. Like, yeah, you know, people who are talented and have that in them, I think they right. could. They should be able to send y'all some clips of their yeah, ideas. You never I'm know. I'm not doing it. That means I got to try to figure I it out. I like the it. idea. Unless they can produce and they <laughs> on a whole nother level with no, production. They, yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. But that's what I'm talking about. At the end of the day, when you start doing that too, you start dealing with other people's footage that you, you got to trust these people. Mm-hmm. I know this woman right here. I okay. know the girls that I'm dealing with. I don't have to worry about them coming back somewhere down the line getting fly about got their it. little old footage. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I'm not for to worry about that, so I just keep it with the people that God put in my life to do this with. Yep, and if you ain't it. on that level, then you got to get on that level, and that means you got to pray. Yeah. Try to figure it out. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> but you ain't going to just step on Boss Talk 101 prime time unless there's a connection and that I can trust you mm-hmm. that you're not going to, what they call it, when you contaminate. That's a good word <laughs> mm-hmm. to use. Contaminate mm-hmm. the whole, mm-hmm. we got something special going on. We don't need no contamination because it only right. hold us back. Yeah. It'll, it'll really make us to where we'll become less productive. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Everybody don't get in, baby. Don't let them in if they ain't, if they ain't been in. Oh, oh <laughs> you know, am I right? Like, everybody don't get to get in. It's by appointment only on the door now. It done changed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, oh, that's right. <laughs> so tell tell us where do you see or where do you want your show to be going? What's um, the goal? The ultimate goal? You know what? To be honest, <laughs> one thing about me, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I'm a major risk taker. Mm-hmm. Like I love to be spontaneous. I love to do things on the fly, like mm-hmm. today, for mm-hmm. example. Um I actually tried to reach out to the um, Zeus Network mm-hmm. owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I was so hyped about my show. I was about to buy some tickets to California. You should You know what? I should have. But, yeah. <laughs> but my mama told me I shouldn't have did it. Well, <laughs> so I, I had to reach out to my mama for advice. But the thing is, is that I wanted to just introduce myself with my little paper. <laughs> with all the with the whole summary of the show and tell him that because y'all know Zeus Network and the baddies and the bad boys and all mm-hmm. of that I feel like that network is is becoming such a derogatory image for everyone that's watching let's put something else on the Zeus Network that can show a softer side to these women show a softer side to these men they are not all about fighting they have deep they have stories mm-hmm. to tell and um, that's that's where I want to see it go anywhere it, anywhere that it belongs and it didn't belong there clearly but but you know you have all the networks out there and yeah oh yeah there's some new and up and coming ones I, I can probably try to link you to as well mm-hmm. that that's hard you know so I mean what whatever God have for you is coming it's to gonna you. be you mine can't really yeah come around, absolutely get around it. so I just like I said my thing is to be consistent with content mm-hmm. you don't have to wait on you, you can become a Zeus network through Ball Star 101 prime time or through mm-hmm. working with different individuals because you never know what God's gonna do period you know what I'm saying so True. that's I think that's the whole game like just work mm-hmm. don't wait on nobody mm-hmm. you got a camera you got a phone yeah I, uh, Country Wayne them Allegedly, was making four hundred eighty thousand wow. dollars a month yeah. on their phone just with their cell yeah. phone. So you don't have to wait on nobody. Mm-hmm. I know it's doing. You mm-hmm. just got to post. You you know this. Yeah. You got to work. You know what? Dang that that sh- that should be hard to do though. Like the editing. Oh my god, y'all y'all edit right? Yes, we yeah, edit. Hours. It don't take that long. 
for me, well, I do you different need. content on YouTube because I'm also a content creator on yeah. YouTube. So I do different content than just interviews. That's a quick one too clip. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, that editing should take a lot of hours. I don't think a it lot, does. Lot I think it's, it's, you you have to get with the right production company. I would need an editor. Company. I would need you have an to deal with not really. If yes, it's really. called no, no, you it, it's called for me. I've been doing this for the past two three years. Me too. Okay, so for me, really, it's about six years for me because I also have a full time job. Me too, and I host as well. I host open mics uh, every I week. Do certain things, and there. I get booked randomly. Things like that. I need. I'm going to need somebody to take care of. That How long me. do you want these episodes to go? About forty five minutes. I think it, it is something to where you do need a you do need a videographer. You need yeah. somebody to hold a camera. Mm -hmm. Um, you need if that if that person should be able to do editing as well, right? Because you really right now in this world we live in, you have to create a vibe for your whole movement, mm -hmm. not just for your show. Mm -hmm. That's where people mess up at. You, if you're just trying to show people your show, you, you're gonna take that's the that's taking the long way around. Mm. People want to know you. I yeah. told you that last night. People want to tap into you. They want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly in you. Mm. And I think a lot of times people be scared to show that side. I'm not scared. But if you show that side, <laughs> it's a it's a continuous walk of life. Yeah. So and oh, I, I know that. And oh, I think yeah. That's, I, I'm I'm a poet. Like yeah, I do that every time I get on stage. When I'm doing poetry, I'm bearing my soul, and I don't give a damn. And that's what I, you're I let to do. I let people see the real me. And I think so that's I what wins it. at the end of the day. So as you do, as you walk this journey in life and you keep doing your thing, I just say, don't be too romantic. What, what do you mean? Don't be too romantic with the footage, the content, the way that you do. That's the, uh, the purpose though. No. It's, it's not even about being romantic. It's about intimacy. The show is called social intercourse. So we no, need to be laying on the bed. Um, he's not talking about like that. He's I'm talking, talking about, about that. He's talking about, I'm you know, some people are very anal. About with, your about your product. Like when you before you put it out, gotta be this, gotta be that, gotta be just right, gotta be that. When people just want to see You'll never movie. put it out a lot of times. Just a logo and a and 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 and, and get it out. Don't because overthink now, it. Now there are all gonna be special parts that you put out. Right. But the everyday walk of life stuff mm -hmm. is not that special. Mm -hmm. Just get it out. People want to see you. You already like I said, when you went viral that one time with your hair thing. Mullet bay. There should have been stuff coming every day. And you know, everybody wearing mullets now. Yeah. I, I know, but that. I remember you told me you hated that video because then everybody wanted you to that. keep... Oh, yeah. Because everybody wanted they to wanted keep... They wanted me to wear it. Wearing and that I, all and the was, time. And you're like, I'm over that stage. I want no, to do said, something else. I didn't say I was over that stage. I said, I'm not a robot. That's right. what I am not. I don't. I can't. And then I like to get my hair done every two weeks. So it's just like, y'all want me to wear this quick weave every fucking two weeks? Like, mm -hmm. damn, this shit. Give me... Cause money, like I'm not gonna do that. But yeah. I brought it back like a couple of months ago. So I just think so. the I just think the fact of when you got them, mm -hmm. when you got the you attention, gotta keep you got to yeah. keep doing. That's what I'm. And telling. you know what? What I did when I did go viral, um, I had just got done shooting a, a visual for my poem, um, and I was telling my videographer to push it out, push it out, push it out, and they did. And it was like it was probably like a few weeks after I went viral, so I still had the attention and the followers or whatever. But um, I did that. I tried to keep their attention, but clearly it's not what brought them to me. But there were some that said, left comments and stuff like, "I knew there was something more to you than just this hairstyle. Like you know, you're a poet or whatever." So I tried my best, but the whole like my mama was like, "Get some Mole Bay T-shirts." Get a Mullet Bay website. She, yeah, <laughs> she was correct. I like, know, yeah. Because a lot of times we've met so many comedians, exam, example, who come on the show, because with comedians, they'll go, they'll try something, mm -hmm. and they don't kick off, and mm -hmm. they do something else. Like That's what everybody loves, but then they get tired of that. It's like, let me switch and try to do something else. And right. they realize people are not loving that. They got to go back to this. But you know, that's fine. So that's what they love. What I did was so unintentional. I just wanted the damn mullet. I just wanted to wear that hairstyle. I love that hairstyle for so long. I wanted, I didn't, it wasn't intentional. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So when I went viral the next fucking day after getting my hair done, I was overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I was crying at work because people coming up to me at work, like you going viral and I'm getting so many DMs, men talking about they want to marry me. <laughs> they was calling me. They was, oh my God, it was amazing at the same time. How but I was like, did that get? man, it's over like six, seven million right now. That's hard, and that's in two. It was in 2019. It's actually coming up, coming up the anniversary of it. That's real. Yeah. Sometimes you have those moments. Yeah. We did that. I did 11 million views in one month. I know that's right. 
So I'm telling you right now, mm -hmm. I do this all the time. Mm -hmm. And you got to have the skin for it. Oh, yeah. Meaning you got to, and you got to know how to reproduce it too. Mm -hmm. To where, because you're not doing it for the attention, you're doing it to help people. Yeah. It's not even about you. It's about when you get their attention, what are you going to do to help what them? You gonna, yeah, what you going to do. So it ain't, even about, it ain't even about us. Yeah, I feel you. So that's how I look at it. <laughs> Being real, that's how I move. Don't I move yeah. like that? So I'm trying to figure out ways to do things to get people attention. But at the same time, when I get it, what am I going to do to help them? Right. That's, a, that's what's hard, man. I did. I, I feel like I did what I had to do. I, I'm, my, I had my visual coming out, and I just went viral. I put my visual out with my real me, my, my soul, my poetry that comes from the spirit. And I put it out there, and it didn't rock like that, you know. But you got to mix it. You got to mix it. If I should have been wearing the mullet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got to mix it because if that's what they love you for, mm -hmm. you got to mix it. Why are you getting your hair done and having a mullet done? You spitting poetry. Yeah. yeah. You know, but you got to gradually ease Do people. That. You can't mm -hmm. just think that because they loved you for this that they're just gonna love, love you, you for, for that. that. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep their interest and keep building because one thing I noticed about social media that I can't not stand. Mm -hmm. You'll get the views, but you won't always get the followers. No. You got right. millions of views. I yeah. wish you got millions of followers, but they yeah. don't always click that yeah. subscribe or that yep. follow or yeah. that like. So they may never see your page ever again. Mm -hmm. You understand mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you have to keep on pushing that out there for it to come up yeah. for them to see it. How, how can people get a hold to you? Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram. It's Al underscore Co, A L underscore C O L E, like J Co, but Al Co. Mm -hmm. um, or you can type in my name, Al Jene, A L G E N A Y. I'll pop right up. Thank you so much yeah. for coming on the you show. You are so welcome. This is Man. so cool. I feel like I'm a singer. I feel like I could sing a little song. Everybody something. say this. <laughs> you Once they get you the wanna try? Uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I think, I, hey man, thank you for coming on the show, man. You're welcome. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out. Peace. Yeah.